Hello and hi, I am your premier Doritos historian and expert, also an enthusiast. And today I am bringing you 3D Doritos, a Stranger Things tie-in. Uh, it's the three cheese flavored Doritos and it's a tie-in with Stranger Things. So sometimes um, products will be marketed alongside other commodities. And uh, Stranger Things is a Netflix movie. It's now on Stranger Things 4. Things keep getting stranger. The first uh, movie of Stranger Things wasn't too hard. I think they just had to be uh, stranger than Erie, Indiana. That's a low bar. Now they're up to four. So up in that strange ante. I don't know how many more they got in them. You know, they're also kind of running out of runway. If you're not familiar with uh, Stranger Things, it's kind of like an homage or a throwback to the 80s. But if they keep going with these things, they're going to get into the 90s. I don't know what they'll do then. But I'm excited for this as a, you know, a Stranger Things fan and a Doritos fan, obviously. I want to see what they have in store with this uh, Stranger Things Three Cheese Doritos. Now, maybe you were along for the ride when I did a previous uh, 3D review of some of their other 3D flavors. Um, you know, I, you, you might be aware that that was actually broadcast here in 3D. Um, I had effects processing to make it a 3D thing, and it's been brought to my attention in the comments and the downvotes that that's ableist. Some individuals are not able to uh, view uh, 3D, and so I'd like to apologize to the audience. No more gimmicks, and you know, frankly, the as someone who's academic about this work that we do here, I feel it was a little cheap for such a gimmick, anyways. So. Today we're going to let these Doritos speak for themselves. No gimmicks, just that powerful 3D cheese crunch Doritos flavor. Now, cool thing about this you might see is um, it says a free ticket to a virtual concert live from the upside down with this purchase of this bag of Doritos. So go out there and get a bag quick because the promotion ends. Uh, 7, oh, July uh, 17th um, of, yeah, this year. Uh, I, I missed that one um, somehow. Oh, this, oh, okay. But, uh, you know, hey, I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was great. We're gonna get into this bag of 3D Crunch, get right into the review. I'm gonna open it using the hourglass method. Long time viewers, you're probably familiar with this. Um, in a nutshell, the hourglass method is you open a bag from the bottom. Why? Because a bag of chips, you can also apply to a box of cereal, but a bag of chips uh, generally sits on a shelf and lives most of it, its life until it gets into the consumer's hands like this. So that flavor is falling to the bottom. The reason experts like myself open up our chips from the bottom is so that as you're eating it, that flavor distribution starts making its way to the top, which is now the upside down. Upside down, stranger things, and we're eating them upside down. Oh, I'm excited because as you know, I'm not one, I'm a super taster. I'm not one for the, the flavor profile of you know, um, spicy that Doritos is kind of going for nowadays. But look at that, look at that. Cheese, that's my jam. I recently reviewed Ultimate Cheddar, love it. So I'm hoping with this, you know, I wish they just made a regular Dorito three cheese flavor, right? Why has it got to be the 3D? If you were with me for my last review of 3D Doritos, and I know I'm a traditionalist, I'm a purist. In my last review, I talked about how it just tastes like a dang bugle, but you can't even put your finger up in it. I don't know why I'm doing the first taste while I'm making a point. So this, I, I imagine that'll be the experience with this. Goes without saying, it's probably gonna taste like a bugle. But you know, 
I'm excited for three cheeses of flavor. <laughs> Tastes like a bugle. I still can't put my finger in it. Like that's the only good thing about bugles, right? Is you can put your finger in it. Can I put my finger in this? I just broke it, made a mess. Yummy, 3D, yum, 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 yum. Oh! I know you're waiting for it. You're waiting for that opinion. I'm waiting for it too. I'm trying to get a sense of that. It's not nacho cheese. It's not even ultimate cheddar. It's cheesy. It's not as cheesy as you would want from something that has three cheeses inside of it. It certainly looks like it's just kind of a cheddar, but the flavor's mild. Now, I've got, now I'm wondering what cheddar, what cheeses are in here. Let's see. Corn flour, corn starch. If you're wondering, I am off the corn starch diet. Um, stuff's a little bit like cement, uh, I came to realize. I had a, um, I don't want to get graphic, but I had a medical issue. Basically like a big corn starch cement ball in my gullet and um it was trouble it wasn't pretty we'll leave it at that but doritos have do have cornstarch in them skipping ahead i'm skipping like the buttermilk i'm skipping this i'm reading the ingredients i'm trying to decipher what cheeses are in there you know my professional tongue isn't quite deciphering it I want to figure this out before um, I, I go to the cheat sheet, the ingredient list. Sometimes to discern flavor, you can get a chip and rub it on your lips like it's a chapstick or a lipstick. Okay, I'm going to say cheddar's in there. Cheddar's in there, so I got two more right. I'll say, um, Monterey Jack and Munster. I'm going to say the third cheese is Munster cheese. You want to know if it's good, right? I'll get there. I'll get there. So I'm locking in that answer. The three cheeses are Cheddar, Monterey Jack, and Munster. By the way, did you catch that Munster trailer? I'm excited. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna skip all the other ingredients just till we get to the cheeses. So I'm gonna skip uh, buttermilk, I'm gonna skip salt, I'm gonna skip garlic powder, whey, onion powder. Here we go, here's the cheeses. Cheddar cheese, ba ba! Okay, sour cream, not a cheese last time I checked. Monterey Jack, ding, 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 I am two for two. The Chuck Woolery, let's see what the third one is. Natural flavors, Parmesan. The third one is Parmesan. Just ahead of medium chain triglycerides. Okay, well, those are our three cheeses. You know, Parmesan, gotta say, I think that's a bit of a cop out. They should have gone with Munster because Parmesan like doesn't even count. That's like, we sprinkle on the spaghetti at the end. Or on, if you order a cheese pizza, if you, you pro probably put Parmesan on top, like myself, I don't think of that as a two cheese pizza. I think of it as a cheese pizza with some Parmesan. You know, if you can buy it on the spaghetti aisle at the store from the top shelf and it doesn't even need to be refrigerated, it's not a quality cheese. You know what? That's the stranger thing about this bag of chips. The fact that Doritos thought they could get away with calling Parmesan cheese one of the three cheeses. Uh-uh-uh. 
No! No, 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 no! But is it good? You know what I'm gonna say? This is all right. It'd probably be a lot better if it was on a normal Dorito instead of its 3Ds. I don't know who is asking for these 3Ds. Something about, you know, when you bite into it and you hit that pocket of air that's inside of these, takes all the joy away from crunching down on a hearty triangular chip. But it's not bad. It'll do in a pinch. If you run into your corner store, feverishly looking for Doritos, and they're all out and all they have is this, go ahead, get, get, it, get this for you. If you're a Bugles fan, first of all, why? Second of all, yeah, go for this. If you're a Bugles fan, go for this. You know, click over to the uh, Bugle Reviewer channel. I'm sure they're raving about this. But here on the Dorito channel, no, no, no. It's okay as a snack. No, I'll say it's good as a snack. It's okay as a Dorito product. How am I doing here? How am I doing? Are those looking yummy to you? They're all right. I'm going to eat them all. They're pretty good. I'm getting, I am getting a good um, dust film from this. Good dust. Good dusting. Oh, look on the package here. More of the tie-in. They got like a, what are they called? The Gorgon Gongs or something? Now, if you watch Stranger Things, you might enjoy this snack. Think about those uh, Stranger Things kids. They're in the 80s, right? So, if the Stranger Things um, children were going to eat Doritos, it's not 87 yet, so um, the, the, the greatest flavor, Jumpin' Jack, isn't available yet, I don't think. So, they're probably eating nacho cheese, um, Cool Ranch, or a uh, taco flavor. I think those were like the big three Doritos flavors. What I wouldn't give to go back in time and eat some Doritos in the 80s. Mm -mm -mm. Back when they were dustier, more MSG. Ah, those house con days. Okay. I'm getting through the bag. That's a good sign. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. Got a couple mmm, mmm, mmms there. Okay. Okay. I ate the whole bag, so not bad. A good snack, not a great Dorito. Um, but it's kind of cool when you get a snack and it is tied in with some other uh, product. So to summarize kind of today, I'd like to apologize for viewers that weren't able to enjoy my first review of 3Ds because it was broadcast in 3D. Um, I, I promised to do better starting today, which means this video will not be broadcast in 3D. It's just going to be a good old, honest, scholarly, academic review of Doritos. You know, this is a limited uh, flavor, limited promotional tie-in. 
So you're probably not gonna get it, have it, uh, uh, your option to get it on the shelves for too long. Special edition. But you know, give it a shot. Maybe sit down and watch Stranger Things 4 on Netflix and open a bag upside down using my hourglass method and you know, try it out. It's pretty good, it's enjoyable. Stranger Things 4 is pretty good, pretty good. My advice to Stranger Things, just keep the strange level where it's at if you wanna keep going and stop before you get into the 90s cause then we won't have all those great 80s throwbacks we want. My advice for Doritos, stick with the classics, stick with what you do best. Good chip, not a great chip, that's it. So stick around, come back, visit, visit my channel and I'll see you next time with a different bag of Doritos. I'm inviting you to become a patron of my Patreon and if you check out my channel, you're going to see a lot of great tiers where I have some really cool perks for those who subscribe. You're going to get exclusive content that the other people don't get. You know, building the level of knowledge and expertise I have in um, the Dorito field didn't come cheap. There's the transportation of driving to the store to get Doritos, the cost of the bags, which is only going up with inflation, and then just my valuable time. To continue bringing my valued expertise on Doritos to the community, I need your support. Chip in for the tears, chip in for the Doritos, and I can't wait to get this started with you on Patreon.